Okay, today we're going to have a look at a Jones and Shipman universal cylindrical grinder. This is a model 1300. Uh, there's several different 1300s. This one is the unit uh, which has a swiveling wheel head. So uh, currently I have it swiveled around 180 degrees so that we're set up in the ID grinding mode. The spindle is rotating right now. Uh, this is a magnetic chuck. I have my stop set here and my infeed I could do by hand. I could also do automatic infeed setting that step amount here. This is my table speed. This is to shut the table off. To work the table by hand. And there's also a feature where you have a fine microfeed dial. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. center of the hand wheel is a knob that when you pull it out when you pull it out it puts you in the rapid or coarse feed movement for the wheel head in feed you want to give yourself enough room to be able to clear this all this stuff here or take the tailstock off. Now there are guards that go all around the machine and I have them laying around here. They're all there. You can see them in the still photos we've taken. We bring this around this way and you got a calibrated scale here and then you would lock it down. And with my uh, course adjustment knob forward I can bring this rapidly into my work area. And if I had a adjustable wrench. Here's an adjustable wrench. I can move these stops out a little bit just to give you an idea. Go ahead and start the table again. Let me slow that down. We'll start our grinding wheel. And you got your tail stock. And if I wanted to start my infeed, it's going to feed every time the table reverses. You also have the option of shutting the feed off and feeding it by hand or by this, by this lever here. There's also a dead stop that you have to engage so that it stops at zero each time. And also there's a fine feed on the hand wheel. And that's pretty much it. This machine is currently wired for 220 volts, 230 volts AC. Original factory paint. Machine is in great shape. Thank you very much.